Welcome back, everybody, to part two of the TOS um, Advanced Order Types tutorial. Uh, in part two, what we're going to be talking about are the more complex advanced order types, uh, which cover the sequence orders, first triggers orders, um, what I like to consider dynamic orders, which basically means that these types of orders trigger based off of certain parameters that we're going to be uh, defining in advance. So the first one that we're going to cover here is going to be the first trigger sequence order, which is, uh, as you can see, abbreviated as uh, first trigs sequence. So we're going to select that order type, and we're going. We're still working with Apple here. So um, the way this is going to work is uh, let's say for example my trade strategy calls for uh, I'm bullish on Apple uh, not saying that I am it's a hypothetical situation uh, but let's say my trade strategy is bullish on Apple and I want to buy the 114 calls uh, I also want to buy the 115 calls and the 116 calls but I only want those orders to execute in when my 114 calls uh, trigger so the way this would work is we would then populate our order entry window by clicking on the ask in the options chain and that pulls up our 114 calls and then we would also click on the 115s and the 116s so simply put uh, as you know I always explained before you always want to double check your orders and you'll see that there's a, a multitude of uh, uh, orders here that that just populated and so what we're going to do is we're going to go to confirm and send and we're going to take a look and this is the order confirmation dialog so the way this works is is we put out an order to buy one apple October f uh, fourth week of October 114 call at 89 cents now the next order in order to description and this is a little bit different from the blast all order that we talked about in the last video whereas in this specific type of order once order one triggers then order two is going to be triggered as well okay and as opposed to the blast all where all these orders are going to trigger at once now what hap what has to happen here is that or in order for order three to trigger order two has to trigger first okay so this allows us to create a order uh, for <laughs> lack of a better term um, that we want our uh, um, perch our buys or sells to go in so um, one way that one other method or one other strategy I should say uh, that we would use this in is let's say for example you want to leg into a call spread okay uh, which basically means I want to buy the 114 calls at one price and then I want to short the 115 calls uh, at another price and collect a premium on those so the way that would actually work and I'm gonna go ahead and start from scratch here and we're gonna delete that is I would then put an order on the table for the 114 calls Okay. And then I would put a sell order here for the 115 calls. Okay. And let's say my my trade strategy calls for a breakout above and here's how we're going to look at this. Let's say I looked at my chart. Okay. And I told my or my chart tells me when and and I want to, I want to point out something here. We're looking at the fee. This is called a fee price, which is a theoretical price that Thinkorswim calculates uh, that gives you a theoretical price of the underlying based on uh, this this options premium. So now this isn't always going to be 100% accurate. This is just a rough estimate. But what this is telling us is that uh, when these 114 calls are trading at 80 cents, then Apple should be at about the 113 32 area uh, so let's say that my strategy calls for a bounce on Apple at 113.30 okay uh, so what I'm going to do is I want to enter long but I also want to hedge okay and this is part of legging into a vertical call spread and I want to hedge by selling these 115 calls against my long 114 position but I don't want to just open up a straight spread and I don't want to sell them for what they're currently going to be trading at. I want to take a little bit of extra credit on them so what I would then do is I would then go to the second order which we notice is set up as a sell on the 115 calls okay and we're gonna set this for 80 cents because my trade strategy told me or based on my trade strategy I came to the conclusion that we're gonna bounce off of 11330 and then we're going to hit 11465 let's say okay 
and what this is going to allow me to do is then once we hit 114.65, the estimated price of, the, of these of these 115 calls is going to be about 80 cents, uh, and then they those will potentially fill. Okay, um, so that's one of the other benefits here of utilizing this first trigger sequence order, and we're just going to take a quick look at what that looks like. Uh, where we have the order description one is we would buy one at 80 cents and then once that triggers then we would have this order which would then be put on the books which would be we would sell one apple at the 115 calls at 80 cents uh, and this specific example I mean I don't know if, 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 if you're able to notice but this is actually a risk-free trade this is basically um, I'm looking to risk zero to make a dollar but we'll get into how legging into vertical call spreads and more complex option spreads in a different tutorial. I just wanted to kind of give an example as far as a strategy on, on how you would utilize these first trigger sequence. So the next order that we're going to look at, the next advanced order type, is going to be the first triggers all. So in this instance, um, this works in a similar way as the blast all advanced order, uh, except for the fact that all of the orders, so we're going to put a multitude of orders. We're going to do the 114s, the 115s, the 116s. Okay, and in this instance, what's going to happen is once, and we're just going to go, we're going to put these at what the, uh, oh, oops, I had the wrong strike in there. Let me adjust that. Okay, um, so we're going to lock that in. So the way this is actually going to work is going to be, when we're looking at the order confirmation dialog, that once the 114 calls triggered 85 then both of these orders are going to trigger at the same time and as you can see here triggered by number one okay uh, so that's pretty simple